Hey guys, so I wanted to, wanted to do an update on a video I did a few months ago on Precox rainbow fish. I had it in a tub outdoors, and as you see, there are quite a few fry that I've harvested. So I'm feeding them microworms and golden pearls about three times a day. That's an awful lot of microworms, but they tend to eat most of them. Shrimps do clean up duty in here. There's quite a few in here. Microworms are great fry food, super easy to keep. You just make a new culture, you have two cultures. You can, I mean, you can do as many as you want, but have at least two cultures and cycle, make a new one every, every two weeks. So you always have a fresh culture. Because if your culture crashes and everything dies, it's start all over. But I feed these guys to everybody. Quarries get them. All my pygmaeus get them. All my fry get them. Really good for betta fry because they're super tiny, but they're very active. So they're great for this fry that key in on movement and won't always accept um, you know, like a powdered fly, fry food right off the bat. You know, either this or baby brine shrimp. Everybody. Swears by baby brine shrimp. I use decap decapsulated brine shrimp. And they seem to work just as good. Alright, hope you guys liked the video. Praycox rainbow fish.